In today's video, we are going to go ahead and check out some awesome, useful apps you should definitely check out for your Apple Watch. Some of these Apple Watches are Apple Watch apps are going to let you not just personalize your device, but also get some really useful information, and some of which is related to some upcoming features that rumor has it can possibly get released for the next generation Apple Watch, the Apple Watch Series 7. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this list countdown of some awesome third-party apps to definitely check out. Let's get started. All right, for number one, this first app is called Stress Meter and, uh, well, Stress Monitor for Apple Watch. And yes, this takes the I, the next generation Apple Watch concept where Apple, it's rumored to be working with an app or the ability to monitor your overall stress level. Now, I've been using this app for quite a while now. And uh, unfortunately, even though it's free to download, it is a $14 subscription, annual subscription, but but originally it's like $30, but there's a way you can walk around it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that a little bit in case this app is interesting. So when you launch on the Apple Watch, like right now you can see my levels aren't completely normal and they haven't got up for since over an hour. But if we go back, it also gives you a brief summary from the last seven days. So right now we're good. But the cool thing about this app, when you actually launch it on your main device on your iPhone, it actually monitors everything from past like heart rate data and stuff that the overall health app was monitoring. So I have gone up significant from the past few days, but my overall score is 83. But there has been times where it has noticed that my stress levels did gone up, one of which was on the 27th. And uh, it even tells you the summary of what could have caused the stress. In reality, it was just me consuming alcohol. <laughs> And uh, it was correct. I wasn't stressed. I was happy, but it also detected. Yeah on Tuesday that my stress levels was kind of high It's kind of good knowing when you're stressed and having another device like confirming for you because that actually allows me to See and know that I'm stressed so I can identify it and become less stressed So all in all if you are somebody who's trying to bring down your stress levels, I highly recommend considering and checking out this app. And then the walk around as I was telling you about, when you first launched the app, this was some screenshots that I took during the process. But again, it doesn't offer like medical advice. It doesn't give you medical device advices. So it's still recommended to seek a healthcare professional, but this is still a very powerful tool. But you just enter your basic information, like how you basically feel, like what's on your mind and such. And then you allow it to have permission with your health app. So you gather previous data because as soon as I launched the app, it was able to go back and check out my overall health and analyze it from there. So originally it is $30, but when you hit the restore button and you hit cancel, it will actually discount it in half for you. So if you want to try this stress meter out, I definitely do recommend giving the stress monitor app a chance because so far it's been doing me really good. Let's go ahead and move on. Now this next app is a nifty tool for your Apple Watch. It's basically a watch keyboard for your screen that gives you access to emojis and you can customize it. So when you open it up, it gives you a little welcoming, give you a brief overview. So yeah, it's just like an ordinary keyboard, access to your emojis, it's just swipe right, swipe left will give you other options as well. And then it is an annual or a one-time $5 thing it'll remove purchase or remove the ads and all that good stuff you could just enable free trial to really try it unfortunately it's three dollars past the third day make sure you unsubscribe if it's not something that you don't want but you can always just tap the little exit exit on the side to cancel that entirely so there you go if you decide to get in the premium or the full package you can always just buy it but yeah here are the little styles you can select from i'm just going to keep it traditional i did more uh, tutorials on like nifty little gesture shortcuts that this app has so when you launch it on the apple watch so when you launch the app on the apple watch it's going to prompt you once again to do the membership just had to tap the back arrow and there you have it so you have access to gifts which is kind of interesting and if you swipe up you have the different fonts you can select from and of course you got your emojis over here so basically it's just a full number keyboard you tap send yeah the contact and basically it will automatically select the past 10 recent contacts you've been talking to via message so you got the body of the subject and you just tap send there you go it's basically a replacement for iMessage let's go ahead and move on now if you're looking for some live wallpapers live watch faces is a free to download app that gives you an access to a library of a bunch of different live wallpapers to choose from so you got some really trippy ones like this one you tap download and basically it does it all it will play an ad unfortunately so 
Just make sure to hit the little X when you're done. And save to our live wallpaper library. So now once that's downloaded, what we need to do is launch the main Apple Watch app. Launch that, go into face gallery, scroll down to where you normally will find the watch face for photos, which is this one. And then scroll down to where it says photo, where it says content. Make sure you select the photo and then select a the recently downloaded one, which is this one. Tap add and then customize it if you wish. I'm just gonna tap add the photo itself. And now it should be updated on our Apple Watch. There we go. And here it is. But you get an understanding how this app works. But yeah, you got a bunch of animals, anime, other objects, even cars surprisingly, and bikes. And it even shows you a little preview of how it's supposed to look like. But unfortunately, some of them are locked, but the most good ones are free to download, so definitely do check it out for those that are trying to personalize their device. Now, this next app is called iCab Mobile. And unfortunately, it's not a mobile device, a mobile web browser for your Apple Watch. It's more useful and beneficial if you have like PowerPoint presentations that you want to show to clients or customers or anybody in general, but you have an iPad or your iPhone and you want to control it hands free. Well, that's basically what this app will allow you to do. And if you're looking for a web browser, you could always just request Siri to abc.com. Here's what I found. If you request like a website like abc.com, when you scroll down, you can literally just tap open web page and you have WebKit already automatically installing your Apple Watch. So you can actually navigate websites and such. It's gonna be a lot slower because it's not your main device, but Nonetheless, it still is a web browser you could browse on your Apple Watch. But back to this app, this isn't what it allows you to do. Again, if you launch, when you launch the app, you have the control of the website right here on your wrist. So with your iPhone or an iPad that's connected to like a projector or something like that, you could actually like go down to the web pages, go back or forward from past websites, and uh, basically just and, uh, present everything right there on that device, hands-free just by using your Apple Watch. That's basically what this app will allow you to do. There's no ads. It does cost $3, it's the only con, but to the right person, I can definitely see them benefit off of this because this app is actually solid for that reason. Now, this next app is about to replace my Reminder app because the Reminder app, sometimes the notification works and sometimes it doesn't, but whenever I receive a notification, I'm mistaken it for something else. It's just not as it's just not a great reminder app but i think this app will definitely replace it so this is my first time setting it up i just recently discovered it and so far from the description i'm liking it and i like the fact that it's actually walking us through the setup procedure together so let's just get started the time i usually wake up is that allow notifications and i want to basically and yes i do that a lot and i want to change that do you find it hard to focus I stay focused when I need it. Just want to be organized. Uh, again, with the seven day trial. They don't make free apps anymore. Let's see what happens when we hit the exit icon. All right, so we have ability to do other things. You don't have to do the trial. Go ahead and allow it. Choose the first habit we want to do. Well, what I need to do is primarily study online for videos. Continue. Gonna build our schedule, I guess. Hey, look, we bypassed and got another 50% discount by doing that. Just tap exit. We need to enter an email address. It's walking us through the app. We need to do a morning routine. So instead of drinking water, make my bed. I guess we're gonna do this for now. Description, just add it. So in the mornings, it's gonna give us a notification to make our, our bed. We customize the schedule and it will actually keep track of the spree. And of course, we get more stuff if we became a premium member. So let's go ahead and add a reminder. Let's add the time. I want this bed done. Started 30 minutes or so after being waken up. So we could add additional reminders. Experiment with that later. And we could add multiple timers on that thing. And notification tone, you can actually like customize it, which is quite nice. I'm glad there's no ads though. And it keeps track of your sprees and it looks like you can add as many as you want and you can customize it for the time of day as well. So like afternoon, evening, all that good stuff or all day, you can see the overview right here. And then if we launch the Apple Watch app, it will synchronize everything. So we already had our bed made so we could undo, we could undo any other, like, other tasks. So we got done with the study online one and literally organizes everything throughout the afternoon, evening, and any time and we can backtrack to the morning time so tap done or skip these reminders i just like how everything just is nicely organized and categorized right here and of course it'll say into push notifications when something is due as long as you set the reminder so if you really spend the time to actually add all the important things you gotta get done on a weekly basis or a, a certain project that needs to be done at a certain date you could really personalize this and 
make this into the ultimate companion, which is why this is definitely going to replace my reminder app, the native one by Apple. And there you have it. Those are some pretty cool new apps you should definitely check out. I'm sure some of you guys will get some good usage out of it. So if you want to download those apps, they're literally a click away as they're all going to be linked in the video description down below, as well as this band, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are curious what type of Apple Watch band I'm using. I'll have this band as well linked in the description. And if you did happen to find some of these apps that we feature in this video useful, greatly appreciate it. If you can actually leave this video a like, it does help out a lot, as well as get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos very similar to this. And if you have a recommendation of an app that you want us to check out of your own, feel free to also comment down below. But in the meantime, if you want to check out some gaming apps that will help you pass time in case your phone is dead or you just don't have your phone nearby in general, nor do you want to look rude having your phone out when you could casually just play some entertaining games that really do utilize the full screen of the Apple Watch, you can go ahead and watch that gaming app video right over here. And the video right next to that one, that's just a video that YouTube's recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.